Hey everybody and welcome back to the show. Today I'm going to do um, the first of a series that I'm going to call If It Ain't Broken, Take Notes On It. So my idea here is, uh, this is a Toshiba Satellite A50 E148. We see a lot of these uh, through our customers and a lot of these motherboards, while they're slightly different, they are pretty much the same. So my idea here is I'm going to turn the laptop on and measure all of the voltages at the inductors, so the secondary voltages, when the laptop is running f and fully functional, so that I can compare it then to another one that isn't fully functional, and hopefully it will give me some information on which circuits are working and which circuits are not working. So the way I'm going to go about this is I'm going to take my multimeter, I'm going to place it in a volts DC, the 20 volt range as you can see right here, and we're going to start taking some measurements at each of the inductors. So I place my black probe to ground, the easiest ground to find is right here. And with my red probe, I will connect first of all to this inductor right up here. Once again, the inductors are the large grey square components on the motherboard. And there is usually one of these on every secondary output. So they're a good point to measure the secondary voltages and see if they're online or see if there's an issue. So I place my red probe right here and I get 14.6 volts. I think that is the battery charging circuit. Right down from that we have this inductor right here so I place my probe to the pin right here and I get 1.2 volts right here on this. Down uh, to this pin right here and I measure that and I get 0 volts on that. I'm not exactly sure why that is, maybe somebody can post in the comments because the laptop is on, it's fully functional and uh, you know, the, I can't understand why there would be zero volts on that but that is while it's running there's zero volts on that. Right down here we have two other inductors right beside each other so I measure right here and I get 1.2 volts on that inductor and on this one I get 1.2 volts on this inductor also they seem to be feeding into, pro into the processor. Now we have two more inductors, two more large inductors right over here. So I measure this one right here and there's five volts on this. So it's probably likely then that it's grouped with the 3.3 .3 as they are normally um, from the same chip. So I place my probe here and sure enough I find 3.3 .3 volts on that also. So that's all of the large inductors on the motherboard. There are also smaller inductors and I'm going to take the measurements on those just to do a comprehensive job on it. So we scroll into this one right here, this R47, and take a measurement right here. That's 0 0.8 volts on that inductor. Right down below it we have another inductor right here. And I take a measurement right here and that is 1 volt. There's just one more large inductor over this side of the board that I can see. That's this one right down here. So I place my red probe to the pin on the other side of that inductor and it measures 1.8 volts. So there's one last large, well not large, medium size inductor right over here. So I place my probe to this one right here and I get 2.5 volts. So that is a measurement of all of the voltages on the main inductors on the motherboard. So if I get in another laptop like this, I'm going to be able to just look up this and see if my voltage rails are online. You might remember from the last video I did that when I checked one of the inductors in my initial check that the 5 volt was zero even though the 3.3 .3 was working and if I'd had this set of equivalent um, you know the chart of voltages across that motherboard I may have been able to see more quickly that because the 5 volt was offline that maybe there was an issue with that and I could have gone you know straight to checking for USB issues as you remember there was an issue with the 5 volt rail and that and was the reason that the 5 volt was offline well, that's all I got for today. It's just uh, another opportunity for me to test out my mic and getting used to working with the software.
but there's going to be more coming up so stay tuned if there's anything that you want to see let me know if there's any comments good or bad please post down below and i'm going to see you on the next one which should be up at the weekend thank you very much